Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to Turtle Tuesday here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today, we are taking a look at Donatello. Finally, my favorite turtle. They waited for the fourth wave to release him, almost like they were taunting me specifically. But uh, my favorite turtle, finally here in Super 7's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimates line. Front of the box, beautiful embossed Donatello with his bow staff on either side. Little name on the front. Let's get this slip cover with the iconic, one of the most legendary toy logos of all time on the back. Oh, look at that. That, my friends, is a turtle who does machines. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, Love this packaging. I talk about it every time. You can see reviews for every single one of the Ninja Turtles that has been released thus far from Super 7 here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Uh, just beautiful packaging. I really love it. And then on the back, of course, we've got the bio. Donatello, the turtle's crazy genius. Donatello is the best idea turtle you'll ever find. He's the brains of the group and the designer of the turtle vehicles. Rather than use his bow of brawn, bow or brawn, Donatello would prefer inventing some device or clever apparatus to foil the foe. Still, Donnie's one powerful reptile with his staff, which enables him to parry, vault, and crush. Even Donnie gets turtle-sized pleasure in stomping the foot. So I appreciate that we have the Oxford comma in here, but that little apostrophe needs to go away. Sorry, Super 7. Hire me to write your copy. All right. Let's get our trusty 1964 box cutter slice right through that adhesive circle. And let's see what we've got with the final standard turtle release. Uh, as with all of these releases, we have two trays to keep these accessories and figures secure. My gosh, I am just slicing right through uh, the tray with these lately. There we go. That worked a little bit better. Hopefully this guy is not going to be covered in slime like Mondo Gecko was yesterday. So you can see the sprue, uh, sprue tree over here, classic style, all the accessories included. Pop that out of there. And of course, the multiple hand options that are one of the trademarks of this line and one of the, one of the things that makes them such great modern updates uh, on the original figures. And one of the things that causes me endless frustration because they are almost always extremely difficult to get out of this darn tray. So I have a ridiculous habit I've mentioned before that I save the packaging for all of these. Uh, even though I do not normally save packaging, I do save it for these Ninja Turtles. And I, I really need to just throw it all out. But I just can't bring myself to do it because it's just such, so well done. It looks nice. It's classy. It protects everything very well. Uh, I need to throw all the packaging out. It's ridiculous to keep it. All right, let's see what we've got here. We've got the standard issue. These are going to have to be popped out from the back as well. Just at first glance, I've got to say, boy, that communicator does not want to come out of there. Oh, my gosh. Uh, first glance, I want to say I'm a little disappointed that Donnie doesn't come with uh, some, some sort of bonus electronic type things. I get it. The original figure didn't. Uh, and he only has, the, he's got the same budget for accessories that the other figures have. They have to cost these things out throughout the line. So it's not like you can just, just for fun, go throw a bunch of random pieces of machinery in for Donatello. And then beyond that, what, what are they going? Oh my gosh. I'm not even going to bother getting those stars out of there right now. You can see he comes with the same throwing stars as the other turtles. Uh, it's great. They're going to stay there because that piece of tape is being really stubborn. Um, we'll just pop Donnie out here. Uh, what machines would Donnie come with? Because this is not based on the cartoon or anything else. This is based on the original action figure line. 
So Super 7 is not just going to make up stuff for him to come with. Uh, although there is some nice stuff included with the turtle van they have coming out. All right. Donatello. Uh, he's got the classic toy head. Uh, and then just another portrait that I am probably going to use this one, I think. Uh, somewhat reminiscent of one of his portraits from the 1990 movie figures from NECA. I like it. I like this pensive, thoughtful Donatello. All right. Uh, we, we have the same articulation as the other turtles. Obviously, everything works very well. We have, we have maintained the profile of the classic figures. Everything looks nice. Uh, you know, to me, give me turtles like this over double jointed, you know, double joints just aren't going to look good. I say it over and over and over and over again. Uh, and, and I know some people want that and that's fine. It's just a difference in taste. Uh, I would rather have single joints with a really good range on my figure because I want my figure to look good. Uh, got great ankle joints. You know, basically the modern ankle joint, but a really nice deep uh, range on that. He's got big feet that hold him up really nicely. No biceps. Oh, wait. There, gosh, I think I've done that on the other turtle figures as well. Because when you're looking at it from the front, you're like, oh, there might not be a bicep, bicep swivel there. But then from the side, you can very clearly see it. Uh, so, yeah, bicep swivel. Uh, pretty nice elbow bend. Not quite 90 degrees. But, again, that's for me personally, that's not what I'm here for. Uh, the C-grips that are on the figure in the package have that pivot. And then if we pull that out, we also have C-grips that pivot the other way. I'm going to get a little, ooh, get a little flash on there. I mean, I'll, I'll pull that, I'll trim that right off. That won't be a big deal, but I am a little surprised to see that. Yeah, that's going to take some trimming. Ooh, come on, Super 7. Uh, but anyway, uh, so you've got C-grips that bend the other way included as well. Very nice touch. Uh, he has his standard belt and strap, uh, bandolier, whatever situation going on right there. And then on the back, he has the space for his bow staff. And the bow staffs, tons of painted detail here. Uh, you can see the wood grain, sculpted, painted, looks fantastic. This is probably the best bow staff I've seen with a Donatello figure. This one, you can see one of them is pretty bent. Uh, that can be straightened out, or I can just use the one that's not bent. But it comes with two bow staffs because that's how the original figure uh, came. I'll take the straighter bow staff, and you can slide it right up in there. And that is designed th with this uh, the wrapped part being thicker. So that's where it sits in here, and it holds it securely in place. Very nice. And you just kind of give it a little spin and tug it out there. And there you go. Bow staff could be a little longer, but I've always felt that way about Donatello's uh, bow staffs. I, I'd like them to be, because if you look, um, I feel like it should be just a little bit longer. But maybe not. I've never fought with a bow staff, so I am hardly an expert. It seems like they're all about this length relative to the figure, so I guess that's that's accurate. They know what they're doing. I just love the way these turtles, the, the way that they pose, the way that they look. Super 7 has done such a fantastic job translating uh, these legendary figures into a modern style. I'm, I'm just so happy. Uh, and I, I've this is the fourth turtle review I've done. So there's really not a whole lot to say about these guys anymore. Uh, he comes with the standard slice of pizza. Nicely uh, painted, detailed, everything there. The turtle communicator, both closed 
and opened, which I guess is an addition from the cartoon. This is not something that the original Turtles came with. So Super 7 has kind of just thrown in some accessories. I, I uh, clearly don't know what I'm talking about at all. Uh, and then he's got a couple of different knives. You guys can uh, remind me in the comments what all of these things are called. Uh, I believe one of them is a comma. K-A-M-A. -A. Maybe, maybe not. But feel free to let me know in the comments what the heck these things are. This might just be called a fist dagger. I'm not sure. Uh, but they look great. They've got a lot of painted detail. Uh, definitely a step up from the originals that looked like this. Although, as a kid, I painted detail onto my turtle weapon. So all of my blades were silver. Uh, the wrapping I didn't bother with because it would, in putting it in the figure's hand, the paint would come off. So, uh, But I did paint all the blades on my old turtle's toys. So there you go, Donatello. Let's, let's try and switch that head out. Ooh, no, that's not going anywhere. Uh, as I've mentioned, it's a little cooler down here. So swapping parts, uh, the plastic is not as pliable as it's meant to be at room temperature. Donatello looks great. I'm thrilled to finally have him. I'm going to put him on the shelf with the other three turtles. And, and what a collection Super 7 is building here. Please tune in tomorrow and the next day for more Super 7 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimates reviews and lots more brand new toy reviews coming uh, in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, share, and cowabunga! Smash that like button if you like needless things.